Hey, this is John with some e-learning tips as we move forward. If you have any instances where you need to do some e-learning, a couple things to keep in mind as you go. One of those is, if at all possible, make sure that you have yourself visible in the webcam as you do your presentations or anything like that for the students, because if they see you, it becomes more meaningful and more real. With that in mind, a couple things you need to look for is make sure that you are dress for the part, you're looking the part, you are the professional, you're the teacher, that you, you have that in mind as you go. And the other thing is, as you do your recordings, make sure you do your recordings, uh, whether it be on phone or your laptop, whatever it is, as a horizontal recording, because that'll come up much better for any other devices. So as always with all the other tips, I'm going to give you some tools that you can work with, I'm going to give you some uh, techniques that you can use, and some strategies that will help out. Keep in mind that you're not going to record long videos for your students. Uh, your, your video lectures should be at most 10 minutes. If you have to stretch to 15, that's okay. But any longer than that, you know as well as I do, you've, you've lost them. Uh, so anything longer than about 10 or 12 minutes, the kids are probably not going to retain anything anyway. So try to keep that in mind as you build your lessons, just like you do in the classroom. And then everything's going to be built in chunks. So as you work forward, you might have a video lecture, then you have an activity, then you have uh, where, they, where they do some application, and then some formative assessment of some kind where the kids can let you know, hey, I got this. So just kind of keep that rotation going, and like I said, break everything down in chunks and you'll be just fine.